Hello. Uh, hello. I'm trying to reach your sister. This is she. Uh, how you doing? I, I'm giving you a call on behalf of uh, Baptist Church. You you are a member there, am I right? Yes, I am. Okay. Listen. Um, I'm calling you. They they uh, some of the members have gotten together and had a meeting and mm-hmm. wanted me to give you a call. Have uh, it, it seems that uh, a lot of them are complaining about. Sunday services that go on and want for me to give you a call on their behalf so that we can see if we can address the problem and talk to you diligently as possible and try to get the problem rectified. What, what's going on? Well, it seems like that um, a lot of, uh, of members are complaining. I'm sorry, and what is your name again? Uh, my name is <laughs> ma'am. Uh, uh, I'm not actually a member of the church. I've just been the one that they've been asked to give you a call and and try to talk on the members' behalf, so maybe we can get this problem rectified that you ha- that they have, uh, as far as you are concerned. Now, okay, go ahead. What, I'm just trying to see what this is in regards to. Go ahead. Well, it, it seems like the members of the church are are complaining about that you're doing too much shouting at church on Sunday, and 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 you're it seems to be going on every Sunday. You running up and down the aisle, and you shouting all over the place. And it's oh, whoa, 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 me. I, I've been singled out about my shouting. Well, uh, is that what you're saying? Well, evidently it's distracting, ma'am. That you that you you you, you know you're, you're you're distracting everyone from getting the word and listening to the word and being involved in the service, and that's that's the purpose of the call is to see if we can get you to tone it down some. Okay, so the whole church is complaining about me shouting the way people run up and down them aisles every Sunday and almost turn cartwheels and flips, and they singling me out, complaining about me. Well, ma'am, I don't know how it is that you can see everybody else doing cartwheels when you're the ones that, that they say is the one that's doing them. You okay, well, how am, I, how am I being singled out? Ma'am, all I'm saying is, is that they're saying that you're doing too much shouting and too much running at this church. Now, I, I, I'm, I'm just the messenger. Okay, well, well they, they can't tell me how to shout. They, don't, they can't tell me what's going on in my life, what's going to keep me from praising God. I, and I, they, I mean, they could just they they can go somewhere else with that, but they are not gonna tell me that I can't praise my God. They don't know how good God has been to me. I, and and you know what? I understand that. I agree with you wholeheartedly. But it, it's becoming a distraction. I mean, they they was at the point last night talking about should we put some seat belts on the pews so so you can stay down. I wish they would put some seat. But how are they gonna tell people they can't shout in church and praise God? What what do we come to church for? Well, you do come to us. They need to be trying to praise God and get their own shot on and stop looking at me and worrying about what I'm doing. We're going to need you to quit running up and down these aisles and doing what you're doing. I'm sorry, sir. You know, I'm I'm trying to stay calm. I'm trying my best. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Sir, that's not happening. You can't tell me I got to stop shouting. Okay, ma'am, but let me ask you something. Are you running now? Aren't you just standing still talking? No, because I don't have to run right now. Okay, I... What I'm trying to get you if to I do. I feel like if I want to run up and down this street right now, I can run up and down this street and praise God. But they're not going to tell me to stop shouting at church. Can we get you to be a little bit more reserved as what we are? See, ma'am, let me ask, let me go ahead and go further on what they do. I, what I, I, move, I move how the spirit moves. Okay, well, let me move and tell you what they have told me. Now, go ahead, if, what, what if, they told you. if we can't get to the point where you can, you know, tone it down, then we may have to ask you to leave. I just want let them ask me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You Ma- let them ask me, why would they want me to leave the church? Be- Ma- I, I've been at that church for 15 years. I'm not leaving the church. I'm going to run up and down. I'm the not going to run the church. I'm- I may even turn me some flips where I'm not up in the ass. I feel well, like it. Now, 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 now listen. That's, I- that, that's all I'm saying. Okay, go ahead. What, I'm going to be there. You, I'm you going to. Say- I- I am going to be there on Sunday, ma'am, and I have been the person that's been appointed to make sure that you're not running up and down these aisles and shouting like this. You got to keep yourself reserved so people can hear the word of God. You are standing in people's word. That's what you're doing. You in the you way of. You know what? If they come trying to send me down, I'm gonna give them a word, and it ain't gonna be a God. So now let them put their damn hands up on me here. Yeah? Now listen. Okay, I'm telling you that now. You, you could say, I haven't been in that church 15 years. If I want to run, dance, shout, jump, scream, whatever I want to do, I'm going to do it. And ain't nobody going to stop me. You're going to have to stop this. And Sunday, this past Sunday was your last Sunday doing it. And you're watch not going to do it this watch Sunday. I, well, like I said, just why? 
And I'm telling you, you can tell the urchins, the deacon boys, the deaconess, the minister's wives, or whoever else you want to tell. Let them put their hands on me and see if I don't swing on them. I'm going to come right about the spirit and swing on them. I'm telling you that now. Because, see, sir, you done really pushed me that. I done tried. I done tried my Well, let me ask you this here. Where, where I is... I tried to show that I'm saved and I, I... delivered, but you make it, you, you making me revert back to my own ways. And you... You really finna piss me off. That's what you finna do. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Here. Where is the God at right now in you? Where is the you one that's... Right here? Was, the God was in me when I was trying to be calm with you at first to tell you don't be calling me with this foolishness. But now you done made the other side of me raise up. Well, you done raise it up you in... Now. You done raised it up in me, too. Guess what? Come Sunday, you're gonna sit your ass in that pew, and you ain't gonna... I say you know. Oh, well, you call yourself a man of God. You can't say come on, sit your ass in the pew. Okay, all right. All right, we're going to see how well my ass in that pew. Matter of fact, first thing Sunday morning, I'm going to pastor. Oh, yeah. When you to deacon, whoever you are, whatever your name is, I'm going to tell them about it. Y'all better, however gave you my number, you need to lose it. I would be talking to pastor myself and letting him know about this situation. You don't now, talk. You don't. Pastor, we can call pastor right now. We can get pastor on freeway. You don't talk to pastor. I talk to pastor. I talk to pastor. I have been at this church 15 years. Like I said, I'm telling you, oh, Jesus, gee, oh, you, you finna, oh, Jesus. Now, 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 see, just like this here, you see ooh, how you calling ooh, on him Jesus, and you standing? Jesus. Yeah, because I'm calling on him to keep me from just really going and cuss you out right now, because you didn't really hit my nerve. I understand that, but can you call on him uh, Sunday from your pew? Just... I call on him from my pew, from the floor, from the pulpit, from the baptism pool, wherever I feel like it. Now, how about that? I don't want to have to put you... Know, you... Sir, I'm, I'm, you know what, I'm not even... I'm not I'm not even going to keep going round and round with I'm you. I'm not finna keep going round and round with you either. Now, I'm going I'm, I'm to escort your butt right on out of that Sunday. Escort me out here, and that night is where I get security right on up that with us. And I'm telling you now, I guess we'll all be having a prison ministry, because that's how, where we all going to be after I finish whooping your I got one more thing I need to say to you, lady. Well, you know what? You better say it real quick, because you finna talk to this operator. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got <laughs> pranked by your girl. <laughs> oh, you know, oh, see, you know what? <laughs> oh, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I'm a kick my butt. <laughs> oh, gee, oh. Oh, Lord. Y'all see, you didn't have me up here cursing on the fuck. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Your girl told me she gonna shout all her way to heaven. I promise you I'm a getter. <laughs> <laughs> you see how people get when they tell you can't praise it. <laughs> how ugly you made me so Oh, I hold my pastor. My pastor ain't, oh, I hold my pastor. Don't hear this, Jesus. I got one more thing, baby. Let me ask you something. What is the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land. Steve Harvey Morning Show, baby. <laughs> Y'all is a mess, I promise you.